Every year, more than 100,000 people in the U.S. will need a shoulder replacement. Now, for older adults, arthritis is the main reason. In younger people, rotator cuff tears are often the But blame. the younger you are when you have the surgery, the more likely the replacement parts will wear out over time. Tonight, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the latest on uh, some new technology here. Yeah, Kim and Devin. So, you know, the material is called a pyrocarbon. It's actually a synthetic ceramic-like material that's been used internationally for surgeries since 2013. But it's newly approved in the U.S. and could offer major benefits, especially for younger patients. For one, it was literally the answer to his prayers. Well, I've never missed a service in 30 years. Father Jordan Brown knew he wanted to be a priest since he was 16. I love serving the church. But Father Brown was also just a teenager when he first hurt his left shoulder. Decades later, the pain almost cost him his calling. I'll start with the baptism. Holding an infant was excruciating pain. He was the perfect candidate for a newly FDA-approved shoulder replacement made of a pyrocarbon, not the traditional metal and plastic. The weak link is that plastic. So if you're older and you're not very active, that plastic's fine. It'll last your whole life. But when you're young, like Father Brown, uh, he was 59 when I did his shoulder replacement. You have years to live with the shoulder, and that's a complication. Dr. Armand Hatsidakis says with many years of wear and tear, patients can end up needing a second replacement surgery. But the new pyrocarbon head has the same feel as bone. The pyrocarbon graphite substrate is a lot more like bone than metal is, so it cooperates better with the native bone. That's the real breakthrough in the, in the technology. Now bring the hand down, hold it here. Now Father Brown is not only back in the pulpit, but he's also physically stronger than he's been in years. A year ago, I, I was, my, my arms were shaking to do a push-up. Now I have no problem. Like this Sunday, I'll be, by, I'll be holding the chalice for probably 30, 45 minutes. Now, Dr. Hatsidakis led the pyrocarbon implant study in the U.S. for the FDA. He says he hasn't seen the normal wear and tear of the replaced shoulders eight to ten years after surgery, even though his patients are very active. So is the surgery itself different with this type of implant? Well, so if you're an experienced surgeon, actually, the steps for implanting the device are the same. But surgeons say it does feel different to them because this pyrocarbon is so much lighter than the traditional implant. Oh. That sounds like that's got to be a good thing. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is yeah. the future. Absolutely. All right, Doc. Sure.